I started in the restaurant business when I was 13 years old. It's what gets my blood boiling. I love playing with food. My husband made the mistake of taking me to a barbecue competition when we were dating, and um, it was so interesting to me. I saw these guys cooking these whole hogs, and you know, it, it really appealed to that, that competitive spirit I think that we all have, and who doesn't love barbecue? My first competition was a disaster. Um, my brother and husband were loading my stuff down for me and uh, lost all the tent poles. It was freezing cold, um, raining. I had to huddle under the hot box during the night just to stay warm. And uh, did I mention I was seven months pregnant? Once you win a trophy, you're hooked. You know, I, I, have, I have a friend that told me, he's like, you know, in my local competition, first time I ever entered, I got a third place baked beans. And before you knew it, I had a big rig and I was traveling because, you know, it's addictive. I think everybody has their Uncle Joe that they remember from their childhood that cooks perfect barbecue. Um, but mine's probably not gonna be like that. So, you know, I think you have to individualize your own perfect bite of barbecue and just hope that everybody else likes it. For me, barbecue is sultry and almost sexy, you know. Um, mine is, of course, just a little sweet. Um, there's a little bite in the back, so you get a little heat from that. Um, but there's a, a savoriness to it, you know, that fifth flavor that we talk about, the umami flavor, that I really believe appeals to everyone. No matter how many contests you win or how good you get, you're always chasing that perfect entry. Before Smithfield came along in the barbecue circuit, we were really having to scavenge for quality meat. The Smithville product is so consistent. Plus, competition barbecuers are always looking for marbling. You're always looking for that big money muscle. I don't know any barbecuer that's not looking for the big money muscle. The Smithville products makes it so much easier. It costs us less money as competitors because we don't have to sort through so much meat. You can just pick up one pack and know that you have what you need to win. Smithville brings that to the table each and every time. Grilling is not hard. Don't stress about it. Learn from every cook that you have. Take that forward. Just get out there, give it your best, and you know what? It'll be edible. The great thing about grilling is you can get the whole family involved. You're outdoors when you're grilling, so bring the whole family in. I mean, that's, that's part of the camaraderie and, and the fun of it. Be the hero of your backyard. Invite people over. You know, there's those times are when memories are made. I cook about four tons of pork a week. I absolutely um, love the venue of the restaurant as opposed to competition. It's two totally different ways of thinking to cook barbecue. It's easy to get one bite of perfect barbecue, a lot easier than it is to serve 500 slabs of ribs every day. But we absolutely in our restaurants try to serve as close to competition style as we can. Watching people see those big trays of barbecue come out and their faces and, you know, the eyes rolling back in their heads and them walking out asking, is there a wheelbarrow to get me to the car because I've overeaten because it was so good. I mean, that gives you the warm and fuzzies. How could it not? I mean, you put your heart and soul in what you're doing. And for people to say, oh my gosh, this is the best I've ever had. I mean, come on, that's, that's what we do it for.